similar and congruent figures. Your objectives? <laughs> Identify similar figures. Identify congruent figures. Investigate congruence and area. All right, here we go. With lesson 70, I want you to look at these four triangles. I kind of did the best I could to make them, well, the way they should be. So the word congruent, and again, put this in your math journal, is same shape and size. Similar would be same shape. So we can look at all these um, and say that mm, A and B are both similar and they're congruent. They're supposed to be at least. Same shape and size, okay? Now, we look at B and C. They are not congruent. They are not the same size, but they are similar. They're both uh, triangles. As a matter of fact, isosceles, okay? And if we look at A and D, we can see that they are neither congruent nor are they similar. They are triangles, but this would be a right triangle and this would be an isosceles, totally different. Okay? All right. Write that stuff down. Draw pictures. In example one, we want to take a look at this. Which of these rectangles are similar? and which of these are congruent. So let's take a look at similar. If we look at B and we look at D, we can see that they are um, similar. We can see that they are also congruent. One, two, three, four little squares. One, two, three, four little squares. We look at C, we can see that it is similar, okay, because it is still a square. It's one, two, three by one, two, three. It's a square. So they're similar. All these three are similar. But if we look at congruent, B and D are the only ones that are congruent. And a way to think about that is if you, um, if you want to see um, if B or D is congruent, is, uh, excuse me, is similar to uh, C, you could just magnify this and you would see that it would fit exactly in there. There's just different ways to do that. It would appear to be the same size. So congruent is only the B and D because they're exact, okay, exact shape and size. You can see that A is a rectangle. It's not even a square. It's not going to happen, okay? Um, but it's a rectangle that's not a square because they're all considered rectangles. It's confusing sometimes. So know that uh, a rectangle, a square can be called a rectangle, but just a rectangle is different, okay? It's like an equilateral rectangle. All right, so on this activity, um, you can use lesson activity 22, uh, but if you don't have it, uh, I'm gonna to attempt to draw it and I want you to compare the shapes on the left to the signs on the right for similarity and congruence. So these will be the shapes, but let's take a look at the next uh, slide. Okay, what I did was I inserted the Lesson Activity 22 uh, picture, and this will help you. So actually, if you don't have Lesson Activity 22, you can just look at this, you'll be fine. So let's take a look. Is the first shape similar to the bike sign? Okay, so if you were to look at this, uh, you can sit here and go, well, if I were to cut this out and place this over here, first of all, I can just look at it and go, yeah, that's a rectangle, and this is more of a diamond shape, but it's still a square, because if I were to turn it on its side, it would be a, a square. That's not going to happen. So the answer is no. Okay. Is it similar? No. Is it uh, congruent? Well, no. If it's not even similar, how can it be congruent? Okay. All right. So let's take a look at number two. Is the triangle similar 
to the yield sign? And the answer is uh, yes, it's very much similar. They're both triangles. They look like they're equilateral, so that's pretty good. Are they congruent? And the answer to that is hard to see, but if you have the lesson, you can cut it out and place it on top. And the answer is, yeah, they are congruent. You could even measure it out on here if you wanted to. Okay. Now, how about the octagon? How do you know that the octagon is either similar or congruent? Okay. Well, if you cut it out, all right, and then placed it right on the stop, uh, right on this little stop sign, um, you could uh, figure that out. Or um, if you have the paper, you can fold the paper and just kind of place this over that. Um, but let's just take a look here. Um, the shapes are similar, but they are not congruent because this is bigger right here. That's a little bit larger. Similar because they both have eight sides, but this stop sign is larger. And I'm not quite sure if I can do this. Let me see. You can just kind of go from here to here from here to here, and you can just kind of see that this is just going to be a little bit smaller. Okay? All right, so for lesson practice, refer to these figures to answer problems A and B. Uh, which ones are similar? Which of these triangles are similar? Um, well, let me see. We have a right angle here, right angle here, right angle here. A, C, and D are similar. Okay. B is an equilateral triangle. It's not similar to any of them. So let's see which of these triangles appear to be congruent. And it's not as good as it should be, but A and C are supposed to be uh, also congruent. And that was as close as I could get it. Okay, so you can see that these are supposed to be exact. This one is definitely larger. D is larger, so that wouldn't be it. All right.